Welcome, in front of me is a Keylive uh, 5039D and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen on the device. So as you can already see, the device in front of me is locked and without the correct email or email and password for it, I won't be able to progress further uh, with the setup. So to bypass this, uh, number one, you want to connect to Wi-Fi, which I already am, as you can see right here. And from here, let's go to the first page right here back and you want to change language to any kind of other language that has uh, uh, just different alphabet so for instance Greek works just well enough and from here I'm gonna progress further let's skip this and we're gonna go back to the uh, page where it was telling us to verify the account so right here and tap on the field and it will bring up a keyboard and from here what you want to do is hold space and number one we're going to change back to query which is the second option right here hold spacebar once more and tap on the last option the text right there and it will take us over here so tap on the bottom this button right here and for some reason it just took us back so let's do that again hold spacebar go and tap on the button there we go and from here see I selected this option right here not sure if this will work and from here tap on the three dots and let's try to go to help and feedback which is the second option there and yep there it is so we're now in help and feedback now in the search field you want to search for Morse code so M O and you can already see use Morse code select that and there we go from here tap on play button it will load it up and give you a three dot option right here so tap on that and select watch later which is the clock icon and it will take us to browser so from here uh, tap on the blue button which is accept and continue and we do not want to log in so let's just stop right here and from here tap on the search bar and we want to navigate into hard reset.info website so like so and search and there we are so we're now on the website and on here you want to tap on it bars right here and choose a download category and from the download category in the field you want to type in android 8 android 8 like so and let's search and there's only one thing that should show up, which is this FRP bypass. Tap on download. Once more, scroll down and you'll find one more button for downloads. Tap on that. Let's accept. Uh, save. And save. Now all the options that are confirming are always located on the right side. So that's primarily what you want to press. Every option that is on the right side. And let's see. If sure if it finished downloading or not so I'm gonna check okay so if this is the case for you as well um, where it never finishes downloading for some unknown reason as you can see it's a hundred percent so in theory it should have finished downloading but it never does and you cannot open it just completely remove this and go back to the site right here and we have the download button where we previously clicked on it you actually want to hold it this time around and select to open it up in incognito mode which i believe is this yep there it is so it's the second option uh, and from here tap on ok and it will download it no problem as you can see it just finished i'm just i'm gonna show that once more so from here hold the option and select the second one right here so this thing so and i already downloaded it, so i'm gonna disregard it so once it's finished downloading, you can either open it by tapping on the blue text right there or go to the download section right here and see that it, wait, where is it? Mm. Okay, I guess I have to download it because it removed itself. 
we go. So tap on the blue text. And once you try to install it, uh, Google will block you uh, because we need to grant uh, access so Google, Google is able to install. So let's tap on the right side right here. And flip the switch on to allow from this source. Go back and now we can install it, which is again, all the options on the right. And once it's finished, as it is right now, tap on open. And from here, number one, tap on the Google Account Manager APK install for version 6.0. And again, allow from this source. So tap on here, flip this on and go back. And now we can install. Now, once the install is done, this time we have the done option. Open is not accessible and we should be back in the FRP bypass app. So now tap on bypass FRP and select browser sign in and tap on the three dots right here. And again, tap on browser sign in, which is the only option that pops up here. Confirm that by tapping on okay. And we should see the Google sign in page right here. So from here, uh, you can use your existing Google account, your personal one to log in. Uh, you can always also create one if you want to. Um, but I already have one, so I'm just going to use that one. Let's tap on next. And I'm going to put in the password for it. So, print that off the screen. And then tap on sign in. It will start processing. And once it's signed in, it goes straight back to the app. So once you're back in the app, hold the power key and select restart, which is the circular arrow right here. Confirm it by tapping on OK and wait for the device to power back on. Okay, so once the device powers back on, you can actually go back to the first page and this time around we can go back to our language. So I'm gonna choose English. And from here, let's on, tap on start, skip. And you just want to quickly go through the setup process, skipping most of the things that you can. It doesn't really matter what we choose right now because we're gonna perform a additional reset of the device. Now, as you can see, this is previously where we would have to verify our account and now it's showing us account added and it's the account that I have added right before the reboot of the device. So let's tap on next. From here we can skip this. Uh, we don't really care about any pins or anything. You just want to, like I said, go through the setup process as quick as possible. Got. And from here, we're going to go into the settings now. From settings, scroll down to where is it going to be? System and reset. There it is. And you want to choose factory data reset. And from here, it gives you basically a message about well, what it will remove. Uh, it provides an account that it will remove right here. So it's the one that we have just added, but it doesn't actually provide the previous one that it's still lacking the device. So once you actually tap on reset phone, it will remove both of those accounts. So that then after the reset of the device, uh, phone will be fully unlocked. So tap on erase everything and wait for the process to finish. And as you can see, now the process is finished, so we can now go to the setup process of the device once more. This time around, you can choose whatever you want. So you can connect to Wi-Fi, uh, add your personal account, uh, set up any kind of protections of the device. And like I said, the device is now fully unlocked. Now, once more, I'm going to go through the setup process as quick as I can. 
just so you can see that there's nothing blocking me and the first thing you will already see is the fact that I can skip Wi-Fi connection which is normally not an option if the device would be still locked. Let's just tap on next, 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 skip, skip anyway. And you can see the setup is now completely finished, there is nothing blocking me, and the device is fully unlocked. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.